Hello guys, good evening to the ones that are already connected to the session. Welcome one more time to the class. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Well, guys, uh, welcome once again to the class, to the ones that are already connected. Welcome one more time to this class. It is time for us to start the class. So welcome Wasik once again. I hope uh, you had a great day, okay? So um, we are just 10 today. So thank you to the people that is already connected. Uh, let me ask you a question. Can you hear me clearly? Like no, like, like clear, very clear. Can you hear me? Hello. I'm sorry. Can you hear me? Yes. No. Yes. All right. Cool. Thank you. Perfect. So, um. We're going to start, as I told you before, the class for today, and I'm so happy to see you connected one more time to this class. So thank you so much for the ones that have your cameras on. So now I can see Beatriz Inocente, so I can see you. And let me see who else. Well, actually, and Angelica. Also. So, all right. Um, let me see, I'm going to ask some of you about the class that we have yesterday. Do you remember that I, tell, uh, that I told you, I'm sorry, that I was going to ask you? And I didn't do it because of the time. I mean, one hour is not that much, but we're trying to do as much as we can, okay? So for today, I'm going to ask you some questions regarding to the class we had yesterday, okay? So I'm going to check if you paid attention, if you remember something or any information that you might remember. Let me see, uh, Monica Escobar, are you there? I think she's not there. No, she's not. Okay, Beatriz Inocente, can you please tell me a little bit about something that you remember about the class, yesterday's class? Something that you remember? Good night, uh, transport, and air, and terrestre. <laughs> Um, example, car, motorcycle, uh, bus, 
um, train, All right. truck. All right, very good. That's good. Really. <laughs> All right, thank you. That's perfect. Thank you so much for your participation. So, Mario Barahona, hello, sir. Hi. How are you doing today? Fine, thanks. Very good. So, sir, can you please tell me what are the types of transports that we have? Uh, the A. Um, the what? Is the, the air. Uh, okay. Airplane. Este, okay. Yeah. Eh, los examples eh, truck, eh, bike, car, ferry, eh, jeep, eh, the van. Eh, can someone tell me? Thank you, sir. Uh, can someone tell me how do we say um, globo aerostático? Can someone tell me? All right, if you if you're hot, in a, hot, hot air balloon. balloon. Yeah, correct. Hot air balloon. Hot air balloon. That's very good. Okay. Let me see. Um how do we say avion de hélice? Proper plane? Exactly, the propeller plane. All right, but that's good. Trembala, how do we say that? Bullet train. Okay, cool. Um, let me ask you guys, is there new people today in the class? Because I'm checking some photos of some people that I didn't see yesterday. But just in case you are new, uh, what's my name? Let me ask you. What is my name, guys? Nelson. Okay, good. Nelson Ramirez. Nelson Ramirez. Uh, okay, cool. Yes. So if there's <laughs> anyone new here in the class, because I'm checking some photos that I didn't see yesterday. So my name is Nelson Ramirez, and we're going to be during this module. Okay. Let me keep on asking you. How do we say cohete? Rocket. Rocket. Very good. And the last one. How do we say planeador? Glider. Glider. Okay. Very good. Glider. Perfect. Okay, guys. For today, we're going to see something that is very important that you know how to use it. I know that probably some of you already know, already know a little bit about this because when we were at school, um, some teacher or any teacher could have probably taught you this. So today, we're going to see, can you see the, the slides? Can you see it? Yes. All right. So yes. as the topic it says over there, today we will see the present simple or simple present. That's pretty much the same thing. So um, when you see this topic, what comes to your mind? ¿Qué viene a sus mentes cuando escuchan este tema? Anyone? Alguien que me pueda decir, ayudarme? Opinions, comments, or something? Or is it completely new for you? Es completamente nuevo para ustedes? You don't know nothing? Yes. Completely new? Yes. All right, no problem. So that's why we are here today. So guys, today's, uh, as I told you, is gonna be this topic and we're going to start with it. So the simple present or present simple, it is obviously something or a tense. Es un tiempo that we use to speak obviously about the present, right? Por eso se llama presente, because we use it to the present. That's the present tense. So um, we have, as you know, we have positives and negatives, right? 
So please, guys, pay attention to this. If not, si no prestan atención, you will get lost. So please pay attention. So as you know, we have the personal pronouns. Sí, los pronombres personales, which are I, you, we, they, he, she, it, right? I think right. that everybody knows. Right. So um, let me ask you, because most of the time, let me see. How do we say Roxana Lopez? Welcome. Hello. How do we say ella? Hello, teacher. How do um, we say ella? She? She? Okay, thank you. So, guys, um, as I told you yesterday, algo que me gusta hacer con mis alumnos es que desde que estamos aprendiendo, eh, valga la redundancia, aprendamos a pronunciar bien el idioma. Generalmente, cuando empezamos a aprender, siempre cuando decimos ella, decimos chi. Como, como la ch de nuestro alphabet. But in English, we do not say chi. Olvidémonos de esa chi. Because in English, we, don't, we do not pronounce it that way. In English, we say she, like air going through your teeth, como aire pasando sobre sus, sus dientes, como cuando estamos arreando a los pollos, ¿verdad? Like that sound, ese sonido. I know it's kind of funny. Eh, puede ser como hasta un medio loco, ¿no? Right? But that's the right pronunciation of the language. So I need you to keep on practice on that. So next time, la próxima vez que, le, que los escuche hablando, no quiero escuchar que me vayan a decir chi. Okay? It is chi. Chi. Like... She. Como she. los, recuérdense, arriando pollos. She, she, like, she. like she. that. That sound, she. okay? Very good. I just wanted to clarify that so you have an idea or the way, the exactly pronunciation of the language, okay? So, um, we have the personal pronouns, as I was saying. We have I, we have we, we have you, we have they. He, she, and it. Can someone tell me what is he, she, and it? In English, sabemos que he, she, and it lo llamamos como. ¿De qué otra forma lo llamamos? Tercera persona? Have you heard that before? Yes. Okay, in English, we say that he, she, it, it is the third person, okay? La tercera persona. So, how do we create a positive or a negative sentence? ¿Cómo creamos una oración positiva o negativa? How do we do it? Here, I'm going to explain you how we do it, okay? So, let me see. Let me check this. All right. Cool. So, as you can see over here, we have I do with they, which are the pronouns, right? Como creamos, how do we create a sentence? Really easy. First of all, we have the personal pronoun. Then we have the verb. And after that, we have a complement. Yes? So personal pronoun, verb, and complement. Así es como lo formamos, right? So, para el simple present, we say, I like cheese. Me gusta el queso. We like cheese. You like cheese. They like cheese. Okay. So, this is for the positive. Esto es para los positivos. So, let's see what happens with the third person. Para la tercera persona, we have he, she, and it right here. Aquí cambia un poco, and that's here. Here it is, where you have to pay attention. Aquí es donde quiero que me pongan atención. When we have the third person, 
the verb, as you can see here, the verb changes. El verbo cambia. When we use the third person, cuando usamos la tercera persona, el verbo se va a modificar. I will show you some rules later on. Te voy a explicar algunas reglas más después, pero por el momento pueden ver eso. La regla, the general rule, says to the majority of the verbs, we add a letter S when we use the third person. Para la mayoría de los verbos, agregamos una letra S cuando utilizamos tercera persona. La mayoría, no todos. Be careful with that. So, we say, he likes, listen to the pronunciation, he likes cheese. She likes, likes cheese. cheese. It likes cheese. Something it very important, like. guys, something very important is that you have to make the pronunciation of the letter he S. Likes. Algo muy importante es que tienen, se tiene que escuchar la pronunciación de la letra S to verify that you have changed the verb, that you have modified. Listen to it one more time. He likes, listen, letter He S. Likes. He likes. He likes. He likes. He likes. Exactly He likes. like that. It likes cheese. Very good. That's very good. Okay. That is for the positive. That is for the positive. Eso es para lo positivo, right? Later on, más adelante, we're going to see some rules. Vamos a ver algunas reglas. So you are going to understand a little bit more, okay? But now this is just in general, just for you to know, or just for you to understand, okay? So, but now, how do we create the negative? ¿Cómo creamos el negativo? Easy. Generalmente, Can someone tell me what is the word that we use to put a sentence negative? It does. Yes, because you're not. Not. Perfect. Not. La palabra not. Generalmente, casi siempre. We usually use it to make something negative. Generalmente se utiliza para poner algo negativo. But with the simple present, it changes a little bit. And it's a little bit different. Es un poco más diferente. Why? Because here we are going to use an auxiliar. Aquí vamos a utilizar un auxiliar. Okay? And that one is going to be do. Sí, nosotros sabemos que el verbo do, what's the meaning of the verb do? ¿Qué significa el verbo do? Hacer. Hacer. But, hacer. in this case, en este caso, no va a significar hacer, sino que solo va a estar ahí just to help, to make it negative. Para ayudarlo a hacerlo negativo, as an auxiliar, ok? So, para los pronombres, for the pronouns I, we, you, and they, vamos a utilizar, we are going to use the auxiliar do más la palabra not. Entonces, so we could say, I don't like cheese. O, esta es la forma contractada, don't. Don't. Repeat it. Don't. But don't. Right. don't. Thank you. So, la forma sin contractar sería la siguiente. I do not, I do not like cheese. We do not like cheese. You do not like cheese. They do not like cheese. Esa sería la forma sin contractarla. Pero qué pasa si yo lo quiero contractar para to speak a little bit faster? Yes, I, I am going to say, I don't like cheese. We don't like cheese. You don't like cheese. They don't like cheese. Recuérdense, the auxiliar do 
it is going to be only for the personal pronouns, I, we, you, and they. For, only for those ones. But what happens? Let's go now to, with the third person, right here. What happened with the third person? In the tercera persona, we're going to use thus, the auxiliar thus. So, yes. vamos a usar auxiliar thus, auxiliar thus, plus the word not, thus not, okay? Or the contracted form doesn't. Repeat it, doesn't. Does, doesn't. doesn't. Great. So, we are going to say, he doesn't like cheese. She doesn't like cheese. It doesn't like cheese. In a forma contractada, in the contracted form. But if I want to say it without contractions, sin contracciones, I'm going to say it, he does not like cheese. She does not like cheese. It does not like cheese. So with that being said, guys, is there any question so far or is everything clear? Teacher, cuando la respuesta es negativa, el verbo ya no lleva la S porque estamos usando el das en very good observation. Very, very good observation. Something very important. What's your name? Who was saying that? Roxana. Okay. Very good, Roxana. Very good observation. And yes, you're right. When we have the negative form, cuando tenemos lo negativo en tercera persona, en third person, the verb ya no se va a modificar. The verb will stay in the same form. Verbo se va a quedar en la misma forma base. We are only going to modify the verb when it is a positive. A positive sentence. Okay? So, any other questions so far, guys? No questions? Is everything clear? Clear as the water or clear as our chat right now? No. Is it clear, guys? See, si, yes, clear. All right, perfect. If it is clear, so I'm going to move on to the next slide, okay? So, here we have a little bit of information about the ways we use or why do we use the simple present. And I will need some help. Let me see, Fatima Estrada, hello. Hello. Can you help me reading the first part that it says habit? Habit. We use the present simple to talk about things we do all the, the time. The time, okay, very good. Thank you, Fatima. So, um, guys, um, with this verb, con el verbo este, can you see the one that I'm pointing? Yes? Talk. Okay. Eh, He escuchado, I have heard that the majority of students, la mayoría de, estu de estudiantes, when they start learning English, cuando empiezan a aprender inglés, la mayoría dicen talk, talk, pronunciando la letra L. But in English, we do not pronunciate the letter L. So in English, we say talk, talk. Es como T-O-K, T-O-K, talk. Talk, talk. So, talk. Olvidémonos de la okay. letra L. No decimos talk. Okay. All right? So, 
Pay attention to those little details, guys, just to keep on working on your pronunciation, okay? Because here, we are here to learn and to improve ourselves, okay? So, uh, Fatima helped me and he was, she was saying, I'm sorry, that we use the present simple to talk about things we do all the time. La utilizamos para cosas que hacemos todo el tiempo, right? So, Eric Ramirez, hello. Eric? Hello. Hello, sir. Can you help me reading the first example, please? Um, I get the, the service bus at uh, 7 every morning. Very good. Thank you so much. Eduardo Mercado? Yeah. Example number I two. I play, I play football all my time. No, number I two. Ah. Yeah. Hi. Hi, teacher. I, I cannot hear you, sir. Escucha. Yeah, right now I can hear you. Me decía. Number two. Example number two. Can you please help me reading? My sister got. I'm sorry, sir. I, I can I cannot hear you that well. Probably it might be the connection. But don't worry, it's okay. So Roberto Carlos, hello, sir. Are you there? Hi, teacher. Hello, sir. Can you please hello. Help reading example number two? Uh, example number two is a play to football at bay time or no? No, that's number three. No, no, it's be oh, Joe Bruce, John uses his teach before he goes to be okay, here thank for bed. Thank you, sir. Let me see. Okay. It says John brushes his teeth before he goes to bed. Juan se lava sus dientes antes de irse a la cama, right? So, right, teacher. Okay, thank you, sir. Angelica Lasso, can you please help me reading number three? I play football at break time. Okay, very good. Gloria Ramirez, can you please help me reading the last one? My sister goes sailing on weekends. Thank you so much. Veo que hay varios Ramirez acá. We have the same last name, actually. So, okay. Um, yes, so we use, um, as it says over there, we use the simple present to talk about things that we do all the time. For example, in the number one, the example number one, every single day, we take a bus, right? Todos los días nos subimos en un bus. We to go to school, to go to work, to go to, to a mall, to go to visit your family, anything. So every single day you take a bus. Number two, I think that every one of you brush your teeth like every single day, right? Todos nos cepillamos los dientes every single day. So that's why it says that we use a simple present to talk about things that we normally do like on daily basis. So let's go to the next one. Some things that you need to remember guys about the simple present. It is that 
we use the simple present to talk about things that are always true. Cosas que siempre son verdad. As examples over there, the sky is, the sky is blue. El cielo es azul. The earth goes round the sound. La tierra rodea el sol, ¿verdad? I am a student. Somos un estudiante o whatever. Tigers are big cats. Los tigres son gatos grandes. Those are real things. Cosas que son reales. Yes, we are going to use the simple present to talk about these things that are always true. So, so far, so good, guys. Por ahora, todo bien? No questions at the moment? No question, teacher. No, no question. All right. So let's go to the next one. As I was telling you, eh, como les iba diciendo, eh, here we have some rules. Estas son algunas de las reglas that goes with the third person. These are the rules. Estas son las reglas para tercera persona. So, be careful. Pay attention to what I'm going to say. And if you have a notebook, or if you are taking some notes, or if you have an, uh, a phone, take a screenshot. Or I can send you the, the presentation after the class. So don't worry about it. But pay attention. Con los verbos, with the verbs that ends in ch, s, sh, o, x, con los verbos que terminan en ch, s, sh, o, y la letra x, cuando usemos tercera persona, when we use the third person, we have to add es. Tenemos que agregarle es al final. That is the rule. That's what the rule says. So pay attention. If you see a bear that ends in ch, s, sh, o, or letter x, so then you know that you are going to add at the end of the verb es. And with that, you will automatically modify the verb. But remember, remember, this is only for the third person. That it means only for he, she, and it. Okay? So, example. Watch, watches. Guess, guesses. Finish, finishes. Go, Goes, fix, fixes. That is the first rule, okay? So what happened with the next rule? The next rule, it says that with the verbs that end, um, los verbos que terminan in, cons in consonants like B, C, D, F, G, we are going to simply Simplemente, we are going to add the letter S. Solo le vamos a agregar una letra S. That's it. Yes? Si el verbo termina, if the verb ends in the letter E, si el verbo termina en una letra E, solo le agregamos S. So, but there's another rule. If the verb ends in the letter Y, we will have to change the letter Y for a letter I. And after that, we will have to add ES. What does it say? Si el verbo termina en letra J o D, J, uh, vamos a cambiar la letra J por una I de puntito y le vamos a agregar ES. Examples, study. Studious, carry, carries, fly, flies. So those are the main rules 
that we have in the simple present. But remember, guys, this is going to be for, um, for the third person, only third person. So any questions so far? No questions? No questions. No. All right. Vamos a ver si es cierto que no hay questions. So let me see. Uh, all right, let me see, let me see. Heidi de Cermeño, hello. Hello, teacher. Is it okay? Is it okay the first, this one? Está bien, is it okay? Like the verb, the verb, like. Okay, can someone else, can I have another opinion? Is it okay, the first one? Doesn't. Yes. He likes. Vamos a ver. Number two, let me see. Eric Ramirez. Are you there? Um, hello, I... Um, Can you hear me? I like... I like eating pizza. So what is the mistake? ¿Cuál es el error ahí? Eh, la S, es, no es tercera persona, es primera persona. Very good. Thank you so much, sir. Eduardo Mercado. Number three. Well, I think Eduardo is not there. So Mario, Mario Barahona, can you please help me with number three? Mm. What is the mistake over there? Is there a mistake? A error? Is it okay? It is not? What can you tell me in your opinion? Mm. No le sabría decir dónde está el error. ¿Verdad? Y cuando les pregunté, ¿hay questions? No, no <laughs> questions. ¿Y right? ¿Y das? Who en vez de Chibu. Who said that? Tell me your name. Yeah. Who said that? She does her homework on the service bus. What's your name? Kelia. Okay. Yes. She does. ¿Por qué? Because we modify the verb. So it will be, she does her homework on the service bus. Thank you so much for your participation. Very good. So let's see someone else. Rosa Amaya, can you please help me with the next one? Um, um, in Finnish, Finnish, tiene que decir, creo que quiere, tiene que decir Finnish. What it's, what it's missing? ¿Qué es lo que le falta ahí? Um, Okay, let me see. Angelica, is, is it okay what she's saying? Mm, para mí es the film finish at eight, sin la S. Okay, let me see another opinion. Beatriz Inocente. It is okay. Para mí es tercera persona. Finishes. Exactly. 
Ok, thank you so much. Yes. ¿Por qué, chico? Because here. I'll go back here. El pronombre, the personal pronoun, it. El pronombre personal, it, se utiliza para animales, para cosas, cosas inanimadas o cosas que tocamos. Por lo tanto, si yo digo, if I have here the film, este the film es como que yo estuviese utilizando el pronombre personal it. Y como it pertenece a third person, I have to modify the verb. So here it is the film finishes at eight. Okay? So, Roxana Lopez, can you help me with the next one? Creo que en go, my friends go. So what is the what is the mistake over there? When I miss my friends go or goes. Exactly. Um, Olida está bien. Is it okay like that? My friend goes. Sí. Sí, sí. Okay, let me see another opinion. Someone else that can give me a comment, an opinion. My friends go. Porque no es tercera persona. Okay, but how did you notice? Como notaste that it's not third person? How did you notice that? My friends, um, él o ellos. Exactly. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando de amigos, my friends. No estamos hablando de un amigo. Si solo fuera my friend, ahí sí iría goes. Pero como solo es, son varios amigos, estamos hablando en plural, entonces ese goes, it is not right. No está correcto. So it will be my friends go on holiday next week. Yes? Okay. Let me ask someone else. Let's see. Tatiana Martinez, can you help me with the next one? This one. <laughs> Yeah? So how would it be then? Yeah. Carrie? She ca carries. ¿Qué le, qué she con carries? Este what do we do with this verb? What lo do cambiamos. We, and how do we change it? ¿Cómo lo cambiamos? For e -A -S. Exactly. So we say she carries. She carries her little sister to the car in the morning. Very good. Perfect. Let me see. Mario Barahona, the next one. Please. Mario Barahona, the next one. Hello, sir. Okay, see, so estoy pensando. Okay, no problem. Take your time. No, not fingers. The other ones also help me. Me teacher. Yes. Nicole Kidman acts in a lot of films. So what is the change? What what did you change? And, and S in act. Exactly. Very because good. Nicole Kidman. Very good. So it's mm. Nicole Kidman acts. We just add a letter S on the verb porque había una regla que decía que a los que terminan con consonantes tal y tal y tal, we just add a letter S, right? Very good. So the next one, who can help me with the next one? Solo una consulta, es por el she. Se refiere a ella. Por eso es. Exactamente, porque okay. 
que Nicole es una ella. Ok. So, the next one, any volunteer? Me? Me? Tell me. We play in the garden play. The break. Play without, sin la letra S, without the letter S? Sí, sin la letra S. Correct. So we say we play in the garden at break. So in the last one, is it okay? okay. Old teacher talks very clearly. Exactly. So we say our teacher talks with the letter S, right? Our teacher talks very clearly. Okay, guys, very good. Thank you so much for participating. So now it is your time to work. So we're going to uh, go to the breakout rooms. Please, if you have, uh, if you are using your phone, take a screenshot because you are going to be working with this. And let me know when you finished it. Déjamelo saber cuando ya hayan tomado la screenshot o Take a photo if you're using your camera or your computer. I'm sorry. Listo. All right. This one. Let me know when it's done. Yes. This one? Is it done, this one? Yes? Guys, hello. Yes, teacher. Dave live in Madrid. Lives. Dave lives in Madrid. No, right now this is he just... Goes. You're going to be working on that in groups. Ustedes van a trabajar esto en grupos, okay? So, okay. Okay. this one. Take a screenshot, take a picture of your computer or something. Let me know when it's done. Please tell me yes or no. So I can move to the next one. Yes, teacher. Cool. Sí, puedes poner la primera, teacher. Yes, just take a picture of this one and I will go back to the first. Did you do this one already? Okay. Yes. yes. Okay, so here we have the first one. Everybody's ready? Todos listos? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Yes. So I will stop sharing this and we are going to go to the breakout rooms. So, let's see. Okay, perfect. So please, do you have uh, 10 minutes to complete it? Hello, Monica, are you there? Yes. 
You can were, hear me. Were you able to move to your group? I have a problem with the internet. Oh, it's okay, don't worry. Hola. Hola, hi. Eh, la primera. Donde dice, they not live in Madrid. Okay, guys, the other ones, please participate. I just can see Eduardo and Gloria are the only ones that are participating. What's going on with Monica and Roberto? I don't see you talking, guys. Please try to participate and help each other, okay? And you mean with you? My dad, my dad is, is, is he? Uh -huh, es, es es él. En singular. No, pero, pero eh, my dad, o sea, mi padre, estaba refiriéndonos a él, o sea. Para tomar asiento. My dad, my, my dad drives. Drive. Drive a red car. Eh, for we, we no es tercera persona. Entonces sí. sería... We uh, not walk. Así como está. Sí, que que no, no lleva el, el verbo. Pero no lleva art. El verbo no se modifica porque no es tercera persona. Ah, pues ah, diría we. O sea, sería we not walk to we school. Ah, porque no es tercera persona, no se modifica. We es nosotros. Es oh, eh. nosotros, yes. You are eh. forgetting something very important, guys. The auxiliar in negative. El verbo auxiliar. Remember the auxiliar verb for the negative. El negativa. So do eh. not forget that. We... We not, we not. Eh, solo tengo una pregunta con el tiempo. Es este, aren't o sería don't? Like that, don't. Teacher, y la clase de ayer, usted la, sub, la puede subir en el grupo o en la plataforma, porque yo ayer no me conecté porque se me escapó. O sea, realmente oh. se me escapó. Oh, Porque no pude, no pude ingresar. Hasta hoy me, me logré registrar. Oh, well, I sent it yesterday. But if you want, if you are on the WhatsApp group, please text me privately. Send me a text message privately and I will send it okay. to you directly, okay? Okay, thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, in Thank you. 
¿Cuál está? En la fight. Cinco. Ah. De Terry, Terry, Terry Four Bus. Dasen. Es negativa. Dasen. Es con el verbo ir, creo. I can hear you. Oh, were you able to get into the break room? Did you receive the link or not? Sorry, I can't hear you very well. I had a problem. I wash it. Sí, es igual que el anterior. Se sustituye. Uh -huh. La corrida del ticket. Pintano. Ya se fue. Okay. Tengo mis dudas nada más en la en esa que no modificamos. ¿En cuál? En la. la Feature. Oh, I'm sorry, my my microphone was off. So I said that I'm so sorry that you couldn't access to your breakup room because the other ones are already working on, on the Exercises, but let me see if I can help.
Okay, guys, I think that probably you already finished and it is almost time to finish the class. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to tell your name and the number of the sentence that I want you to help me with that. And so you will give me the example. Let me see, we're going to start with Beatriz Inocente. You will help me with uh, sentence number one. Uh, sentence number two, it will be Angelica Lazo. Number three, Eduardo. Number four, Lisette Castillo. Uh, number five, Tatiana. Number six, Mario. Number seven, Roxana. And the last one, Glenda Orellana. So please go ahead. One. They doesn't live in Madrid. Very good. They doesn't live in Madrid. Very good. Number two. Sue studies German at school. Very good. Sue studies German at school. Very good. Number three. Number three. I don't. My dad drink a lot of cars. My dad drives. My dad drives a red car. Very good. Number four. We don't walk to a school. We don't walk to school. Very good. Number five. The. 34. The 34, yes. Bus doesn't stop here. Very good. The 34 bus doesn't stop here. Very good. Number six. Mr. Brown uh, teaches maths. Very good. Mr. Brown teaches maths. Very good. Number seven. The children play football. The children play football. Very good. Thank you. And the last one? The last one? Mary watches the dishes after lunch. Very good. Mary washes the dishes after lunch. Very good. Okay, guys, thank you so much for participating. Before you go, let me tell you, keep on working on the platform, please. Keep on working on the platform. Try to make the exercises. If you have any question or something, ask or make the questions through the WhatsApp group, and I will always be there to help you out, okay? So thank you so much for coming to the class and see you tomorrow, okay? Have a good night. Okay, bye. Thank you, teachers. Good night. Bye. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow.